Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Say hi to the shed. I'm gonna start this video off with my most endearing trait. I'm gonna bitch about something. Yeah, I screwed up a whole bunch of videos. So I'm kinda like sitting on no videos. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. So what I'm gonna do today is gonna be cool but there's one thing about it that might be a little bit irritating, which is you can't get one yet. But there's a distinct reason why we're doing this video now. Because what we want to see is the comments, the feedback. It's going to make a big difference. What I have for you today is a knife from the 710. He does knives, he does sheaths. Uh, he hasn't done a sheath for me in quite some time, so I think I'm going to have him do the LT Wright Outback that I got yesterday. It definitely needs a Kydex sheath. But when I show you this knife right now, you're gonna instantly know why I was attracted to it and why he wanted me to check it out. So here it is, the 710 Kukri Necker. Hmm, I wonder what it is that Chris likes about this knife. Well, we'll solve that mystery right after the intro. Something about rain, it just makes a video better. Maybe it's watching my camera get all wet. Anyway, let's hurry this thing up. So this really cool, really original neck knife is going to be available around Blade Show. He's going to be at Blade Show. I got it written on my hand. Booth 405. And then they'll also be available on his website at that time. He's currently making them. This is it. Now, price on these. No, I'm not going to tell you the price yet. I'm going to tell you the features first because that's how sales works. You know, you build value and then you freaking hit him with the sticker shock. See? Honesty. First of all, it comes with the awesome Kydex neck sheath. Now this came with a big leather cord, which, sorry, I immediately cut that thing off and put a sliding uh, necklace knot using Atwood four strand paracord. The best cord for any kind of lanyard that you're gonna hang around your neck. And don't talk to me about strangling yourself on trees if you drive a car, which is way more riskier. But anyway, uh, looks like the, God, I love this freaking Kydex. Looks, it's got a, a nice texture to it. I, I like the color of the honeycomb pattern, but it looks like the, uh, the eyelets are set up where you could probably mount this on a tech lock. So unsnap, the magic comes out. They're water, water jet cut and he, he grinds them all by hand. So the blade steel is 80 CRV2, which is becoming quite trendy. Seems like uh, it's showing up a lot around here lately. I was working on the Scrama video the other day, screwed that all up, that's 80 CRV2. It's got his logo, laser etched on the other side. Is it really gonna rain this much that I'm gonna have to move the camera? Cause that, then I'm really gonna start whining. My car to handle scale is going to come in a bunch of different colors and the colors of the handles will be matched to the colors of the sheaths and the eyelets and that sort of thing. So there's going to be uh, uh, several different options. Me, kind of a basic type of guy, that's why I went with green. So this feels really good in the hand, especially with this choil portion up here, to be able to work with this knife. ADCR V2, in my limited experience with it, does really well with the edge retention big sweeping blades we already know are awesome freaking cutters and it's going to give it give you a lot of cutting utility because of that blade sweep i can see this being good uh you know just working on an animal cutting veggies carving feather sticks all sorts of stuff uh the scales are made by uh, joe snarsky lmf knives He's the guy that makes the custom aftermarket scales for peak Kohler's or dark timber production blades. So if you get one of those, you can actually buy uh, cool aftermarket scales. He's the guy that makes them. You notice that it is black. So right off the bat, you're like, hey, it's got a coating. We don't like coatings. It's Cerakote. 
So what you have here is you have an 80 CRV knife with really nice removable micarta scales, laser etched, Cerakoted, with a very nice custom kydex neck sheath. So the whole package for this, he's, he's talking, is going to be around 200 bucks. It's not going to be for everybody, but for those knife lovers out there that like to get cool stuff and things that stand out, things that are more limited, yeah, these aren't going to have any problem being sold whatsoever. So what he's looking for in the comments is do you like this knife wet like it is right now? Do you like it dry? can't win. I'm gonna have to get something to cover the camera or else I'm gonna need another camera. Yeah, I'm getting wet. Goes in and out of the sheath. Very nice. Of course, he's a Kydex sheath maker, so I'd assume that would happen. Snaps nice. Not too tight. Handle's got enough thickness but not too much because one of the problems with neckers sometimes is they just don't give you enough handle they don't give you enough meat to actually work with the knife it's just a small knife and then you're like okay well I got a small knife I can't really do much with it this gives you enough to work with especially when you're utilizing the choil so the edge came really nice just got a piece of cardboard here thing I like about cardboard, you know, if I'm cutting cardboard with like that, you know, the the cheap coating like you'd find on like a Schrade folder or something like that, it scratches up the coating really, really easily. But being that this is baked on Cerakote, yeah, it's not doing anything to it. Love that little skull logo. This is a cool little knife. Uh, I like this thing enough, I think I'm gonna Jessica list this even though you can't get it yet, which makes it kind of annoying. Kind of like this siren is kind of annoying. But you know what? We wouldn't have sirens if I was actually out on a survival adventure to do a knife review. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing with this thing for a while. And then I'm gonna do like a full blown like use vid, demo vid, right before blade show. But it's one of those things when you're used to a curved sweeping blade like this, most people like myself that handle knives a lot, you can look at that right there, study it, and you just kind of in instinctively know what it's gonna be good at. That's going to be a good cutter. It's going to be a good performer. I like it that it's very original. You don't see a bunch of stuff out there like this. It's original and functional. That's a hard combination to match sometimes. So let's try at least a couple little small things with it. But we're going to have to move into the garage because we're all getting soaked out here. All right, I just want to try some basic stuff with this. Because I would normally probably use this in the woods. It's about getting some feathers here. On some getting used to it. There we go. There, now I got my edges. That's why I love those continuous sweeping blades. It's the same way I use the Jessmic. It just keeps, as you go forward, it just keeps slicing. That feels really good doing that. Now what I'm curious,
spine sharp. Kind of feels a little bit sharp. Oop. Yep, spine sharp. Come on, fat wood. Okay, don't burn my mat. Don't do it. Okay, sharp spine. Utility factor just went up. So I'm just doing some straight slicing using this knife. Sweeping blades do great at that. Even if I go a little bit further down on the belly, I'm just gonna hold this knife flat like this. See why I like bellies? Because they're awesome. It makes things that were once together become apart. It's like a magic tool. It's like a magic wand with a skull on it. Let's do the exact same thing with a little bit uh, thicker medium here. I'm sure the US Postal Service won't mind. Take it back a little bit to the belly, lay it flat. This thing is a cutter. Definitely is a cutter. This thing's almost a freaking perfect craft knife. Boy, this thing slices on a table. It's a lot harder to do stuff like that with a traditional style blade but here just about any angle that you make contact at even all the way back there still slices awesome so small knives like this i mean you kind of limit the types of tests that you can actually do with them i mean you're not going out oh, see how it chops do a drop test my favorite but uh you know, for what I would do with it, cutting, slicing, that sort of thing, and you know, the fact that you can actually, you know, strike a ferro rod with it. This thing's awesome. This is like one of those annoying little knives where I look at it and I think, damn it, why didn't I design it first? <laughs> that would be a great addition to my lineup. So, tell me what you think of this knife in the comments section below so you can see. That's going to help him gauge, you know, what kind of production he's going to do and all that stuff based, by, based on, you know, what people are saying. And I know there are some people out there that have these. I mean, he, he sold some at Blade Show last year. They weren't, like, Cerakoted and all that stuff. But they sold so quick and they proved to be so popular. That's when he came back, you know, and made them a little bit nicer, added the Cerakote. Uh this place right here I'm supposed to mention them they're the ones that did the coating. but I'm very impressed with the overall fit and finish the handle ergonomics I like the choil I like that little mini ulu style sweeping blade up there it's got a nice point it's got a 90 degree spine which gives it a little bit of extra utility it's coming to you out of the package with a custom kydex sheath so I mean you gotta factor that in that's included in the package not something that you always have my Carta 80 CRV 2 you know all, all the best materials fit and finishes there the grind is great came nice and sharp just comes down to do you like it is is this a knife that you're interested in if so now you know it's out there now you know it's coming if you're going to blade show like I am then uh, you might want to rush over to his table, try and grab one before they all disappear. Otherwise, he also tells me about that same time they're going to be up on the website. So I'll have all those links in the description box below and uh, any other information that I might have missed in this video. Definitely going to play around with this some more. One thing I will say, so you don't think I'm just being overly nice, I'm picky about one thing with, with Neckers and that is the weight. I like my Neckers to be really, really, really light. But the problem with really, really, really light Neckers is they only do fine stuff really well. Uh, 
takes away from like their their ability to actually go be a knife. This is kind of like right in the middle. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the uh, layout of these eyelets and uh, possibly set this up for putting into rotation for my uh, everyday carry. Put it on my belt or whatnot. This is definitely, definitely a cool little fun little knife. I do like it. So that's what I got for today. I'm going to get my butt moving on getting all these videos that I got to do done. Not everything is knives and flashlights, although there's always knives and flashlights in the mix. Just got a really cool uh, big new camping lantern from, from uh, Yuko. It extends and all sorts of stuff. It's like, eh, there, there's something new. So that's what I got. That's the school bus. That means daddy's got to get off the YouTube and get going. All right, guys, see you next time.